Hi, I'm Dandy Reiner from Hatchbinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. Right now I'm going to tie a sulfur dun for you. And I'm using a 17-aught trico thread. Now, this is a bit tricky using this thread. It's basically like tying with a strand of hair. It's very, very thin. And the reason why I use a 17-aught is because this fly is typically tied in an 18 and a 20 and you don't want any kind of thread buildup on this fly. I'm going to be tying it for you today in a size 14 so you can see it more clearly. If you have trouble tying with a 17 aught, and most people do, even a, a seasoned fly tire, uh, you can always use a 10 aught, probably in a yellow or light Cahill. So I want to start with a thread base, and I take my thread down to hook point trim off my excess. For the tail, I use micro fibbits, and I use the white color. I take two strands of micro fibbits. I want them to be a little bit longer, just a little bit longer than my hook shank and I go ahead and tie them in at hook point. And I just go ahead and bring my thread up to behind the eye, capturing those fibbits. It gives me a little bit of a body. Trim off the little tag ends. Take my thread back down to where I started, and I want to split those tails apart. So I bring my thread in between the two fibbits. So now they are forked apart. The next part of this fly is the biot, and I use a turkey biot from Nature's Spirit. This is in the sulfur color. Now this body is ridged, so I'm going to take my biot, which I've soaked in a little bit of water to make it more pliable and easier to work with. So when I tie in my biot, I tie it in at the tip, right behind that tail, and I tie it in with the clear part of the biot facing me. And I kind of turn it to the right, grab it with my hackle pliers, Make sure my thread is behind my eye, and then I start my wraps. And I wrap it away from me, and you can start to see those ridges starting to form, giving me a really nice segmented body. And I make my wraps even until I get to where my thread ends. I take my thread and carefully Cut it off, snip off the excess, cinch down what's left behind. Now the next part is the wing. And for the wing, I use Trout Hunter's CDC. This is the uh, yellow color. And for the wing, I want two feathers. And I want them to be facing away from each other, back to back. And I want my tips to be lined up. So I smooth everything out, make sure my tips are even with each other. And with the tips of the feather facing the tail, I lay it right on top of the hook shank. I make a couple of wraps with my thread, and I take one stem and I bend it towards the back. I gotta come forward a little. I take one stem and I bend it towards the back. And a couple of wraps. I take the other stem and do the same. Bring it to the back, a couple more wraps. Now I use Superfine 
dubbing for the uh, thorax, and I'm using the sulfur orange. And I want just a small little amount for the thorax and head. And I make a good plump thorax and I end up right behind the eye and I go ahead and tie it off. Now the next step, I want to even up these sides here. And I want these stems to be trimmed to where they're about halfway at hook shank, to be as, as long as about half of the hook shank. Trim them up evenly on both sides. And these little arms act as stabilizers, help it float in the water. And I like to turn my vise around and snip underneath any excess CDC because I want the fish to see that pretty segmented body. A little bit of head cement. And I like to treat all flies I tie with CDC using watershed. And I put just a little bit of watershed on those wings. And there it is, the CDC sulfur done.